It's common for women to supplement with magnesium or melatonin to help with sleep disturbance. So which works best? I'm going to break it down for you. And if you're new here, I'm Dr. Gayla Gorman, a licensed acupuncturist, naturopath, and author of What's Your Kryptonite? On this channel, I'm here to help you reverse the effects of chronic stress so that you can cruise through midlife and beyond symptom-free, so that you can put an end to insomnia and the unwanted results like chronic fatigue, mood swings, and even weight gain. If you are considering taking magnesium or melatonin, maybe you are already taking one or the other, I will caution you, I don't recommend that you take any supplements long term. You are, should only be supplementing in the short term for a known deficiency and then essentially we're just reminding our body of what it's designed to do naturally and we should be consuming all of these all of these nutrients through our food and basically supplying the body's energy system so that it can produce these things naturally melatonin is a hormone the body makes melatonin out of the other raw building blocks that we consume so so when we take melatonin from essentially an unnatural source we supplement with melatonin it is interrupting our body's natural hormone um, creation process. And this might sound like, you know, so what? That's what I need to do. And you may find that you do need to do that on occasion, but if you do it repeatedly long-term, there are other side effects that are happening that you don't want um, to perpetuate. So, so one of the main reasons you would supplement with melatonin is because you're getting muscle cramps. If you're finding that your legs are cramping in the night, you know, any sort of like muscle sort of discomfort or pain typically points to a magnesium deficiency. And I will tell you that if you wake up with um, leg cramps, you can even get up and take a melatonin supplement. You, you know, wanna make sure you've got something handy, a high quality supplement. Um, but you can take that supplement and it will quiet that right down and you should be able to fall back asleep fairly quickly. So, so if muscle cramps are happening, then magnesium would be the thing that would put, um, be most likely what would be beneficial for you. And again, remember, magnesium is not something you want to supplement with all the time even magnesium. Magnesium is meant to exist in our body um, in, um, in a ratio, essentially. And so when our body makes these minerals naturally from what we're consuming, then it produces things It you know, pulls out what it needs in exactly the right ratio. When we kind of force our body to deal with um, a disproportionate amount of something, don't be surprised when a bunch of other things kind of get out of balance and um, and then you are essentially adding toxicity to an already toxic body with these with these symptoms that you're experiencing. So in case you were wondering, no bueno, <laughs> not good. So so if you have trouble falling asleep, that typically points to a problem with this cascade that involves the pineal gland and the melatonin production. So supplementing with melatonin can be helpful. Um, again, we want to do that in the short term just to sort of like jumpstart the process, but, but you definitely do not want to be supplementing with melatonin long term. Also, if you're having a problem staying asleep, Supplementing with melatonin is going to make matters worse. And so, so you've got a different issue going on if you're having a problem staying asleep. So we have to make sure that, that you're identifying what your real problem is. And, and if you are choosing to supplement, that you're supplementing with the right thing to address your problem. This is one of the reasons why I don't recommend that people just supplement long-term people here that they should take melatonin. And so they start taking melatonin and the next thing
And, you know, I say, I ask them, how, how long have you been taking the melatonin? I don't know, three years. <laughs> and, and so if you're taking any supplement for more than a few months, it's time to take a break from that supplement. And, and most women find that they don't even notice a difference when they stop taking it, which basically means they didn't need it. <laughs> and so you don't want to be taking anything, putting anything in your body that it doesn't need. Believe me, your body has plenty of toxicity to manage without you adding additional toxicity with supplements that um, are not called for. And then last, do you need minerals or do you need hormones? So I've kind of mentioned here that, that melatonin is a hormone. And so if you have a problem falling asleep, melatonin may be part of the root cause of the problem. And so it points to a hormone disruption, but if you are having issues with cramps and, and just generally staying asleep, that can point more to a mineral imbalance. And then you may want to supplement with a mineral, mineral supplement that's not just magnesium, basically. It's a, it's a mineral supplement that's got a, a complex combination of minerals and they tend to like have already kind of put those minerals together in a way that tries to maintain balance. They can never do it the same the way the body would do it naturally, but essentially it will, it will allow your body to, to kind of jumpstart that uh, mineral creation and refill the tank. You know, if the tank has gotten kind of depleted then, then refilling the tank may be what you need to give your body like a, a new place to start, like a fresh start. In my next video, I'd like to show you how to manage toxic stress that's sabotaging your efforts. You can eliminate the symptoms that seem to be piling up in midlife naturally without medication, crazy diets, intense exercise, or any other unsustainable lifestyle hack.